about how to use reference management tools and make life simpler. So till now, I think all of us have been manually putting the citation and creating bibliography, but I hope I can make things simple. I don't think it's been done before and I've tried to make it as simple as I could. So when I carried out a survey, only 17 people responded, no responses as usual. So only three people said that they had ever heard of reference manager and three people had used Zodhara Mendeley, I guess, Dr. Sushmita Banerjee, Dr. Rajiv Sinha, um, these people who keep publishing, they might have used. And three people, including Prabhasda, had not heard of a reference manager. They did not use it and did not want to learn. But um, Prabhasda still has joined today. So welcome, Prabhasda. I hope uh, I can make it simple and everybody can learn today. So rest, even those who were using Zotero and Mendy said that they wanted to learn. So, okay. So what does a reference manager do? So reference manager uh, stores and organizes your references it generates citations and bibliography in the style you want. And, it can, and you can easily convert referencing style to suit your publication requirement. So suppose in Indian pediatric, you want Vancouver style and in other journal says archives, you want AMA. At the click of a button, you will be able to convert your entire bibliography without having to manually think um, six authors, two authors or whatever. So just at the click of a button. So. Uh, there are a couple of there are uh, several reference managers like RefWorks, Site You Like, EndNote, Zotero, and Mendeley. RefWork is web based and it requires a fee and a subscription. Site You Like is a free online reference manager, not that popular. EndNote is uh, popular with big researchers. Um, the basic one, which is web based, is free, but the desktop version requires a free. Today, I will be talking about Zotero and Mendeley, both of which are free easy to use. They have a desktop app plus a web version. So now Zotero. Now go to Zotero.com, uh, download the Zotero application, download the uh, Windows application as well as the Zotero uh, Chrome connector. Next, so you have gone to Zotero, downloaded and installed the application. You open the application and you will see that it is automatically added to Word itself. Now, when you open Word after installing Zotero, you will see that Microsoft Word, the plugin has automatically been added. Look here. Next. Now, when you open Zotero application, this interface appears. Now, how to add articles to your library. So usually, uh, it is easier to create a folder so that it is easier for you to find. So what am I going to do? So I'm planning to write something on PDA. So I go to create folder. I named it PDA. Now with this plus button, I'm going to add articles to my folder. So either you can add the whole article or you can create a link. See? If your article is not on Zotero, it will not be able to find it. It's the same thing as a song. If you want to add us, uh, only if you add a song to your playlist, will you be able to uh, play the song when it is in your playlist? So if you want Zotero to import the metadata, you must add it to Zotero. And when you're using Microsoft Word, you will also have to open Zotero, keep it open and running so that it can help you in inserting your citation. Now, how to insert the, uh, sorry, how to insert the citation. Now, I have opened Microsoft Word. I'm starting to write. I am just copy pasting to save time, but remember copy pasting is plagiarism. You have to write it in your own words. So this is from the article, bacterial meningitis and in infants. I'm writing an article. Now, what do I do? I go to Microsoft. I, you see this toolbar Zotero and I write add citation. And so a toolbar appears. You either type the name of the author or article name, whichever you remember. You can see that's automatically numbered. 
again i'm going to copy paste remember no copy pasting it's plagiarism you write it in your own words and this is from this article either remember the name or the author name and then again go to add citations author toolbar appears type in the name of the article or whatever so automatically another citation done i'm going to write some more from another article see now again add citation toolbar appears i forgot i think i'm writing the wrong one i will go again and look at the name of the article so toolbar again appears you write it and then again one more reference so i'm copy pasting again and then again go to the add citation button toolbar appears you enter the author name and then now i would like to insert my bibliography so what i do i just go to zotero again and write add bibliography and you can see uh, sorry i think yes so add bibliography and automatically you will see that the bibliography has been created now you can choose the bibliography style you want now suppose you want to change the order so what i have done is the last paragraph i cut pasted and put it in the top now if your order changes the reference number should change now what i did was just refreshed it can you see the number has changed and even the reference number has changed see how it easy it was at the click of a button your numbering has changed and your references have automatically been updated so this is so easy now how to install the chrome connector you install the chrome connector so the web plugin appears you can look i have the mendeley web uh, importer and zotero web importer both installed here okay so you just install the zotero connector in chrome or mozilla firefox or whatever you're using and how to use the web version so suppose i have pubmed open and i have searched for covid articles and then i just click on this tab and then select the articles and then you can see it is automatically adding to my covid-19 folder in zotero see when i open my zotero library from web itself i have been able to add articles to my folder so next so i think i've explained to you about further now we'll talk about mendeley priti priti sorry uh, yes. can you just go back to the last last uh, so you selected the the articles you want to add from pubmed yes. and then yes. how do you add it to your I, folder in zotero yes. i opened the zotero uh, plugin web okay, plugin so that will be up on the toolbar okay. yes up on the toolbar so and then it automatically uh, uh, you can either add to my library and then you can tag and put it in your folder or you automatically have a, or you have the folder already created right so, so this is how you can so having the web plugin just you to work one anywhere. one more question one more question priti does it work the same way in mac in 
I have no idea about Apple and Mac. It's a alien concept to me. Sorry. I think it should. Okay. I think it should. Now it we works in uh, it works in Mac also. Okay. Thanks. So how to use Mently? So again, same way. Download and install the application. Sign up for the free account. Open the desktop app and go to tools and download the Word plugin as well. So what we have done is we have gone to Mendeley, downloaded the Mendeley desktop. This interface opens. You register for a free account. And uh, this was already there in my computer. So you, already, uh, you also installed the citation plugin for Word. So now when you open Word in references tab, you will notice that this thing appears, which is the Mendeley insert citation open Mendeley. And uh, and this one, Mendeley site as well appears. Now again, how to add articles to your Mendeley folder? It's the same thing. When you open this Mendeley desktop, you create a folder, then you can either drag and drop or you can manually add. I prefer to manually add, so I go to the add button and I have artic added articles on new little meningitis. So if you want Mendeley to find it, you must add it to Mendeley. So this here, all my articles have appeared here in Mendeley. So Mendeley as well, you can use it anywhere if you sign it. Now I'm going to write in, uh, write and use Mendeley. So again, copy pasting, which is not done. Now I go to references, insert citation, remember either the author name or the article name, anything. And then you can enter. So see, you can find it here. Okay, so it is automatically numbered and you can see that I have used American Medical Association or you can you choose any citation style you want. Another article, I'm just going to copy paste. Okay. I'm going to insert citation. And then I have, okay. So now I'm going to insert my bibliography. I just click on the button and you can see that Mendeley has automatically inserted your references in the correct order and in the correct citation style. Okay, now next. Uh, I will uh, also teach you how to use the Mendeley cite in, which is almost similar. So I'm going to write. and then go to Mendeley site. You go to references bar. It's not working. I don't know why it's not working. Yeah, and then you use Mendeley site is the newer version. And then again, you have to sign in to start using Mendeley site. But once you sign in, you can use it from anywhere. And then you search using author name or title. So you can see I have selected this and then you choose the citation style. Vancouver, AMA, APA, whatever you want. I have updated my citation style. Okay. 
Okay, I've changed the citation style. Then just go back to references and insert the citation. Now you see. Now I'm going to go on and write some more. And I'm going to insert, I've just written gibberish. I'm going to insert one more app, um, reference. So I just go to Medley site again, insert the citation. And then I'm going to create my bibliography. So you go to more, you write insert bibliography and, and you can see that my bibliography has been created in the correct order. So next one. So for adding references to Mendeley or Zotero, you can either drag and drop PDFs in the central area or you can create a file, uh, you can create a folder and add files to it. And you can use the web import as well to add your references to your Mendeley or Zotero. So to organize, you will have everything added in the all documents folder. But if you create a folder or tag, it will make your life easy. It will be in one uh, specified mark folder. Also, when you're adding your references, remember to check the metadata. Metadata is the article details like the author name, mm -hmm. uh, author names, uh, article uh, name, uh, title, uh, journal, uh, journal name. So remember rubbish in means rubbish out. So look at this. So this article uh, title is Deriva derivation of metabolic signature associated with bacterial meningitis. But Mendeley has not correctly identified the metadata that is article title. So, and even the journal uh, title. So when you're adding references to Mendeley or when you're citing, make sure you are cross-checking your references, cross-checking the metadata. So what I have done is you can correct all these fields. So I have manually typed in the fields. So uh, make sure you are checking your metadata. So to sum it all up, so download the reference manager, you install the application, create an account and install the word plugin. So add and organize references. It is really easy. You drag and drop or you create a link or, and use an appropriate citation style, AMA, APA, Vancouver, whichever you want. You start citing and you create the bibliography at the uh, click of a button. And whenever you are uh, changing um, a paragraph order, just update, uh, refresh your bibliography, it will, uh, the order will also change. So I think um, that's all I have to say. And I hope I made it simple. So start using Zodra and Mendeley today in whichever thesis work or whichever article you are writing. So yeah. I think that's all for today. Anybody would like to ask anything? Because sometimes we use the same reference several times in the article. Oh, like that. So then, that fine. To, so then do we need to type out the uh, the name or the authors every time or at that time can we just type out the number? No ma'am, you will have to type out the author name okay. as far as I know. Okay. Okay, but thank then, you. But then the new, uh, it will not go under a new number. It will uh, just show yeah. the same number. Okay, but that's, if you, that's, that's what we need, that it should go under the same number, that it should mm -hmm. identify the same, same article every time. Okay. okay. So anybody would like to uh, ask any questions? I think we need a recording of this, Shomnath, because we will forget these these uh, steps. So I think the, those of us who are really interested in using, if we could have a recording. Is uh, it being recorded? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Just one minute. Recording will be available, Shushmita Di. Okay. Recording uh, okay. But you think I'm the only one on your recording to a cheek into fine. YouTube is subscribe to the name YouTube is up that day. I mean, next day, the Nazbe and the Korodoma. YouTube is up notification. Chole, Jokoni, I mean, YouTube is up notification. Chole, Jokoni, I mean, YouTube is up notification. Recording dictate of it. Mota Muti, hello, a good. Should be okay on uh, YouTube. Just the problem is that I have copy and pasted. That is not the okay thing to do. That is absolute plagiarism. So everybody should remember that I'm not advocating copy pasting. Do not copy paste. Sure. Thank you. That was really useful. Thank you. I hope it was simple. Uh, 
Yeah, we'll try it out today and then we'll get back to you. Yeah, so please, all the questions will come after, 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 after some time. Yeah. Questions Everybody, please install Zotero or Mendeley, whichever you find easy. Start using and tell me how you find it. Start writing something gibberish and then insert bibliography. See how it works out. Okay, anybody would like to ask me something? Uh, okay. Thank you, everybody, then. Thank you, Preeti. Uh, Madam, can I ask you one thing? Please. Please don't call me, Madam. <laughs> uh, Ma'am, I have one query uh, for this. Yes, please ask. Yeah, actually, uh, what happened to me during my thesis days, I was actually preparing my thesis uh, through Zotero. Mm -hmm. uh, but somehow I had to format my uh, Mac. And after that, uh, the all the previous uh, library data, uh, everything was lost. Because and you were not using the web. Uh, did you sign in? Okay, I think that could be a problem with Zotero if you have... Um, yeah. Mendeley, it is easy because uh, when you are uh, signing in to Mendeley, it will remember you on whichever desktop version you're using. But Zotero, I'm afraid if you're just using the desktop version. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I was, uh, yeah. Uh, I was using the desktop version probably. And uh, somehow I could not manage. I tried my best, uh, but I could not manage the old uh, library. So I had to make it again. And it was very, I mean, <laughs> it was a nightmare for me that time. Okay. So I think uh, mentally will be better because uh, the web version is uh, there. And if you sign uh, it, it will remember you. Uh, someone, because someone actually, I'm uh, sorry, interfering. Someone suggested there is some syncing process. And if you sync. Yes, you have to keep syncing. Mentally, okay. I can tell you, I changed my laptop. I did not sync my mentally library. And the ones I had folder called WAP and things like that. So it automatically, uh, even when I was using a new laptop, it has shown me all the folders and the data. So if you sign in uh, with the account. Uh, so you are, you are suggesting Mendeley. You are suggesting Mendeley rather than. Yeah, Mendeley. Rather than Mendeley, But I found that with Zotero, it was, uh, uh, the metadata was more, uh, was better. With Mendeley, you often had to uh, check your metadata. Okay. So you had to manually correct. Zotero was more accurate in terms of metadata. But mainly, I think it was friendlier. Thank you. Okay, thank you, everybody. I think we'll stop today. I hope it's been useful and easy.